but uh, that's the substance of this review. Beyond Congress and beyond the presidential candidates, there's been a lot of conversation on what, from your perspective, would be the other side. Liberty University's president just came out and said that students should be allowed to bring concealed weapons into dormitories. A number of sheriffs have weighed in across the country suggesting that uh, they would appreciate the help of the public who have legal guns uh, to carry them in situations like this. Others have suggested this, that this is what happened in San Bernardino is proof positive that strict gun control laws don't work. And I just wonder if the president feels as if what's happened may actually be giving motivation or momentum to gun rights advocates rather than his position. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess there is some uh, evidence to indicate this. The FBI put out information that um, uh, a week or so ago that Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, when many people go shopping, that they actually processed the largest number of background checks for gun purchases in history. Um, so, you know, I described this, I think, in a briefing earlier this week as a tragic irony, that the more that we see uh, this kind of violence on our streets, uh, the more people uh, go out and buy guns. And, you know, that is, uh, um, that is uh, both ironic and tragic. Um, I think the president's view is that he is going to forcefully advocate for the kind of gun safety measures uh, that common sense tells us will not prevent every act of gun violence. But even if it makes some acts of gun violence less likely, and we can do all of that without undermining the constitutional rights of law-abiding Americans, then why wouldn't we do it? What does what happen on